Hey everyone, my name's Jay Roy, and this is the top five things to do in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. <laughs> you can find me on YouTube, just search Jay Roy Fitchburg, or on Instagram, Jay Roy USA. I mostly cover travel stuff, some local stuff, uh, and I also have a vlog series called Jay Days. It's just dumb stuff I do with my friends. Check it out and let me know if you like it. Number five on the list is the Boulder Art Gallery on Main Street. So now I'm here at the Boulder Art Gallery with the owners, Pete and Ann. Pete, why don't you tell us uh, why you landed on Main Street for your shop? Well, the reason behind that is it's pretty simple. Uh, we've always loved the Upper Common area mm -hmm. because it has so much local history. Uh, the fountains in the Upper Common, the North Cross House, uh, uh, just an awful lot of history concentrated right here. So we knew we wanted to be in the Upper Common. And I've always liked the history behind the Rollstone Boulder. Yeah. So we decided to name our gallery the Boulder Art Gallery after the Rollstone Boulder. It's fitting and that I, it's right outside the Right Boulder. outside. And, I, and, I, and our slogan kind of is, in the shadow of the Rollstone Boulder. Exactly. And you literally are, because we it's are. right there, you can see it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Anne, she actually happens to be the artist in the family. And why don't you tell us something about your artwork behind us? Well, um, I enjoy watercolors, my medium, have done so pretty much my whole life. Uh, I tend to enjoy scenes of Fitchburg and the architectural end of, of my scenes. I really enjoy, um, for example, my latest piece of the Upper Common includes the church and and the surrounding buildings and that, that I particularly like. I'm working on a floral series right now, so that will be coming out soon. And again, my note cards are affordable and frameable. If anyone is coming to Fitchburg for the first time, uh, Peter's the guy who can tell you anything about Fitchburg. Definitely true. I've only been here about five minutes and I've already learned more about this area than I have <laughs> in the last 32 <laughs> years of living here. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. We'll see you again. <laughs> Number four on the list is Cogsall Park. So the park was a gift to the city from an executive with the Fitchburg Gas Company called Henry Cogsall. Uh, it was donated to the city in 1894 at about 86 acres. As it's situated today, they have about 300 acres, including a wildlife sanctuary that abuts the property. This right here is the old stone house. Well, it's not really that old anymore. After a fire in 2009, it's been rebuilt to look exactly how it used to. You'll see no dogs allowed signs around the park, but they actually are allowed on the walking trails, just not by the pond or in the playground. They have to be on leash and you have to make sure to clean up after them, so bring your own supplies. One of the top things that popped up when I was looking up Cogsall was the fact that people like to come and feed the birds. Uh, I used to do it as a kid and I'm pretty sure everybody that lives in the area has too. Uh, the only problem is if you feed the birds, they come at you and they become dependent. So when it comes winter time, they don't want to leave because they're used to having a food source right here and they don't have to do anything to get it. That's it for number four on the list, Cogsall Park. All right, now I'm at number three on the list, Curious Escape Room. Do you like scavenger hunts and solving puzzles? Each of the puzzle rooms will be highly designed to transport you into a new world. You and your team will be locked in a theme puzzle room there are locks and clues hidden around the room that lead to the key. Together, tear up the room, snoop, solve a series of puzzles, and escape. So grab some friends, get down here, and try to escape within an hour. Unlike her, she's been here for a while. Number two on the list is the Fitchburg Art Museum. located downtown and it's filled with all different types of art throughout the year. Some exhibits have been there for quite a while including the area that's dedicated to Egypt. 
It also includes exhibits that rotate three times a year for regional artists and two times a year for mostly photography. The museum was founded by a woman named Eleanor Norcross, who has original works in the museum as well. One of the interesting things about the museum is it has what's called learning lounges. Basically, it's hands-on stuff for kids. There's plenty more to see at the museum, so make sure to get down there and check it out. But now we're going to go check out number one on the list. Number one on the list is Great Wolf Lodge, located at the intersection of Route 31 and Route 2. Check it out. Great Wolf Lodge is absolutely huge. It's basically a Foxwoods for kids. But there's also things for the adults, including a Dunkin' Donuts, a couple different bars, and live entertainment. There's multiple gift shops, restaurants, including ice cream and pizza. There's also a spa for the kids, an arcade, bowling, and a high ropes course. But the best part of all is the two huge indoor water parks. There's plenty more I could say about the place, but I don't have that kind of time. The last thing I would say is the rooms are pretty cool. Some of them are themed. That was the top five things to do in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. Now that wasn't according to me, that was actually TripAdvisor's list. So if you think otherwise, make sure to write in the comments. 